Hi there. So uh, in my very first video on ChatGPT Plus and the Notable plugin, I walked you through how it's able to do some pretty sophisticated data analysis and visualization with very little prompting. Um, one of the things I, I then stumbled across uh, was that sometimes uh, ChatGPT Plus and Notable can do this even if you don't have a data set. <laughs> so even if you haven't uploaded a data set, you don't have a data set that you can point it to, it's just able to find uh, the data. And it appears to be able to do this um, through API calls for certain types of websites. So I wanted to walk you through uh, an example of um, how ChatGPT Plus can do that um, in this video. So I'm gonna put in a request here. I'm curious about how GDP per capita has changed around the world over the past few decades. Can you find some data like that for me? Okay, so it's saying that a good place to look for that data would be the World Bank's open data, uh, and it starts looking for that uh, by using Notable. Okay, and it says that it's created a workbook uh, and the World Bank provides an API that'll allow it to fetch the data directly. It's gonna write a Python script to download that data. Okay, so um, one of the things that I found interesting in working with um, ChatGPT and Notable is that often uh, ChatGPT makes mistakes or uh, things don't work the way that it intended. Um, but then it's actually pretty good at um, fixing its mistakes um, and then moving on and, and getting the data that you want or getting the analysis that you want. You can see in this case, um, the data wasn't in the format that was expected. Uh, and it says it's because it's in a compressed zip file. It needs to modify the code to handle the zip file. And there was an error reading the CSV file. Uh, so it says, let's try skipping the initial rows and read the CSV file again. And in each of these cases, if you know enough about uh, Python or you're just curious, you can sort of see how it's rewording the code in its request and what it's getting in response. Uh, and then you can see it successfully loaded the GDP per capita data from the World Bank. The data spans from 1960 to 2022. Uh, and then it says, now that we have the data, we can proceed with the analysis. What specific analysis or visualization would you like to see? Now, uh, ChatGPT is asking me to be specific, but one of the things that, as I said, I found really impressive, impressive about uh, ChatGPT and this notable plugin is um, how much it can do with very little prompting. So I'm just gonna say, please do some analysis and charts on the data for me, okay? Couldn't be less uh, directive than that, right? Just do your analysis and visualization thing for me. Okay, and you can say, sure, let's start by analyzing the global trend of GDP per capita over the years. We'll calculate the average GDP per capita for all the countries and plot it. And so you can see this growth uh, in GDP per capita. Say that, and again, it's providing some narrative here. Uh, as we can see, the global average GDP per capita has been increasing over time. There have been fluctuations in periods of slower growth, which could be due to various factors. Now it says, next, let's look at the GDP per capita for specific countries. Are there any countries you're particularly interested in? Now I'm gonna stop here for a second because um, as much as I'd like to sort of see what um, ChatGPT is able to do with li very little guidance, um, this is a situation where it's done something I don't like. So, and this is something that I give my students a hard time um, about uh, on a pretty regular basis. Uh, and that is uh, a simple average of all the countries in the data set uh, could be quite misleading uh, in terms of getting a sense of overall GDP per capita because it's weighting a country like India or China with a billion people, the same as a country uh, like Canada with 40 million, right? So I'm gonna actually uh, see if I can get it to notice its mistakes. So I'm gonna say, is a simple average of all these countries really the best way to go, best way to analyze this data. Uh, and I get a response from ChatGPT that basically uh, says, has the same concerns that I already raised, right? That a simple average doesn't take into account the population of each country, so it gives equal weight to all countries regardless of their size. Uh, a small country with a high GDP per capita can have the same impact on the average as a large country with a low GDP per capita. Uh, it talks about a population weighted average, that this would require population data, which we don't currently have. Uh, you could also look at the median GDP, Alternatively, we could focus on specific countries. Now, in some ways, I think this is really impressive because, you know, it's it's adding some sort of higher level analysis about, you know, was that really the right thing to do? If I'm being more critical, I would say, well, maybe don't do the dumb thing in the first place, right? Like, you know, this is, this is a bit problematic in that, you know, it's requiring me to kind of know enough is going on to sort of say, 
hey, hold on, is something weird here? And they're like, oh yeah, there is something weird here. And then and then raising it. And, and we saw something similar in the previous video around, you know, bike thefts happening around uh, midnight. So now that said, it's not hard too hard to imagine that that another couple of generations to go and and some of these kind of connections between, you know, doing an analysis that's a little bit crude and then realizing the mistake, it just won't do the crude analysis uh, to begin with, right? So, um, but, you know, at the moment, this is a bit problematic and that it could make a calculation that could be quite misleading and the person using it might not realize that. Now, uh, it's saying whether I'd like to proceed with any alternative approaches. Uh, I'm gonna add something in here. I'm gonna say, please uh, look at GDP per capita over time for G7 countries. Um, and I think this is a good example where one of the kind of um, neat things about ChatGPT is as, as a large language model, it knows all sorts of other stuff other than the data set that you're currently analyzing. So I didn't say what the G7 countries are, but it is able to, to figure that out and then specifically look at the data on those uh, seven countries, right? Um, uh, and similarly, when it sees trends in the data, it's often able to draw conclusions about why those trends uh, might uh, have occurred based again on its its broader knowledge set than just the data set that you're analyzing. All right, and so uh, ChatGPT makes me uh, a chart uh, showing GDP per capita uh, over time for all the G7 countries. Um, and it provides a little bit of narrative here. So we can see all G7 countries have seen a general increase in GDP per capita over time, indicating economic growth however the growth varies. For example, Japan saw a rapid increase in GDP per capita in the late 20th century, but its growth has slowed in recent years. So again, I think one of the things that's really interesting here is we're not just making charts, it's also kind of pulling out some of that narrative uh, analysis that sort of helps point us to um, interesting elements in our data. Now, one of the things that I've noticed uh, about the visualizations that ChatGPT and Notable have made is that they're often quite ugly. <laughs> so. You know, here we've got kind of all the years overlapping each other, so it's very, very hard to read. Uh, I really don't like that kind of grid pattern on the back. It actually makes it hard to see um, the lines. Um, I'm going to try to give it some feedback, and again, trying to kind of err on the side of kind of a beginner's feedback, not sort of saying, fix this, fix this, fix this. I'm just going to say I find that line chart quite hard to read and see if, if it's able to help at all here. Okay, and it suggests uh, what the data viz nerds would know as a small multiple, right? Saying an alternative would be to create separate line charts for each country. This would allow us to focus on the trend for each country individually. Would you like to proceed with that? Let's just say, sure. Okay, and so uh, it gives me a nice uh, small multiple of the G7 countries with each one on a separate chart, but it hasn't fixed um, the other things I don't like about it. Um, but I'm going to stop uh, here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to focus on um, some particular elements of this data. And I'm going to sort of say, you know, can you please provide me a, an explanation for why GDP per capita growth varies between different G7 countries? Or why GDP per capita growth has varied between different G7 countries over time. Okay, and it gives me a, a variety of different, um, you know, relatively informed insights into the kinds of things that drive GDP per capita, uh, which again shows the value of uh, using a tool like ChatGPT that, that has knowledge beyond the specific data set that you have, right? So it's bringing in some additional factors that would be interesting for me to think about, like political stability, natural resources. Uh, and just like uh, with our... Um, previous uh, Notable Notebook, if we go to our Notable dashboard, uh, go into our default project, which is testing, I can see the uh, notebook that I created on GTP, GDP per capita analysis and all of our code, all of the outputs, um, the charts are all here. So I can kind of review the work later. I've got kind of a permanent record of it. It's not kind of stuck in that one um, chat GPT session and I don't need to manually copy things over. Uh, I've got kind of a permanent record of, of the analysis that I did. So um, that's it for now. Uh, again, if you find this video useful, interesting, please put something in the uh, chat. Uh, my website is chadskelton.com and I've got a blog post there where I'm collecting all my, uh, uh, my posts 
uh, my Twitter threads on this topic. My I'm at Chad Skelton on Twitter. Um, and uh, again, if people find this useful, um, I'll try to create some more of these as I continue to explore uh, ChatGPT and in particular its ability to analyze and visualize data. Thanks for now.